Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi guys. So day 17, Thursday of the Quarantine Gardeners. Mm -hmm. And so here we are today. So today we're gonna do a project outside. It's gonna prune our azalea off our main walkway. We've been meaning to do it for quite a while now. Years. <laughs> yep, and it's, it's actually encroaching on our sidewalk growing into the walkway. So we're gonna prune that today and take it away and we're gonna show you how to do that. As you can see, it's a beautiful day outside. We're completely taking advantage of the sunshine. It feels really good. We're excited to get this started. Mm -hmm. Yep, so uh, just to let you guys know, I'm gonna raise the canopy of this small shrub, this small azalea, and I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring it away from the walkway. So I'm gonna use mainly thinning cuts to do that. We'll have some notes and some links down below for you if you wanna know more about thinning cuts and some pruning techniques. So, okay, you ready to get started? I'm ready to do this. All right, let's do it. Let's go. see we opened up this area now as in all projects they kind of grow so now this project has turned into a new partial walking path right here that we're gonna develop a little bit later on and maybe we'll show that to you as time passes here you can see what I did here when you go through and you thin out and you cut back azaleas and rhododendrons you're gonna find that you're gonna partially expose some dead tissue that no longer grows but that's okay because you can easily prune that out I didn't get to that yet uh, in this pruning session here, but eventually I will get that out. But just be aware that when you start cutting into these, you're going to expose some of that older tissue that's no longer growing. So just something to be aware of. So mainly I went through and I used two different kinds of cuts. I used heading cuts and I used thinning cuts. Mainly thinning cuts where I took most of these branches back, the small stems and branches back to their point of attachment, which is a thinning cut. And then I also used heading cuts minimally but that's where I came and I cut some of these right in the middle of it. And that's considered a heading cut. So just something to be aware of. If you want to know more, look down below. So we'll have links for you to explain what thinning and heading cuts are and some more information on that. And also, um, let us know how we did. Give us that thumbs up. Let us know how we're doing. And also subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on our latest videos and different information that we have available. So, so thanks for being here today, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. 